Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Alex Real NFT Gaming. And you guys, uh, I, I've seen a lot of feedback coming uh, throughout X and uh, other areas and other platforms as, as far as the new uh, update in Adopt Me. Like everyone loves the task, but something that everyone's complaining about is how the pet's needs show up above the pet's heads and how it kind of clutters the entire uh, Adopt Me map. So if I were to come here, um, and I stand here, you could see how, well, let me not do that. Uh, but if you see how like all the names, everything is showing up and then like the pet needs are there and um, it, it just looks so cluttered and it kind of doesn't look welcoming, right? Um, it's kind of hard um, to go ahead and uh, see that. Another thing a lot of people are kind of like, ah, I, don't, I don't like it too much is this part here where it zooms in um, and it kind of zooms on your pet. I personally think this is super freaking cool. Uh, but for those of you that don't like this, there is an option to remove it. And I am gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to hide all the names and everything so you have a last cluttered experience when you're playing Adopt Me and hanging out and doing tasks and grinding and aging up your pets. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and as you see, how you could see everyone's names the names of all their pets and it, it just looks so like convoluted it's like oh my gosh it's a mess it's a disaster like it's a disaster here you guys like i, I can't see anything uh, i can't even see uh what that person's typing or saying um so there's a way to get rid of that and there's a way to clean it up where it looks super good right so you go into your settings uh you go into your little settings button uh on the bottom over here you click on settings. When you're in the settings section, you're gonna click where it says main and you're gonna go down to where it says graphics. Now here in graphics is where you're gonna be able to clean all of this up. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. The first thing you're gonna do is where it says character icons, where it says show or hide character icons for players and pets. We're gonna go ahead and hide that. We're gonna go ahead and hide that. The next thing is where it says players names. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click on no one. And as you notice in the background, how everything looks like it's really starting to clean up. Then the friendship bar visibility, we're going to also click no one. What that does now is it eliminates basically the clutter all around the map. So here, as you could see, we have a clutter free area now where I could look around and I could see everything clearly. And if I want to see a player's name, I just literally click on the player and click on profile. And I know who that is. Uh, just like here, I could click on this person and see who it is. So as you could tell, oh my gosh, the Grinch just ran me over. The Grinch just ran me over. The Grinch just ran me over, bro. <laughs> but if you could see, just making those few changes make the gameplay so much better where you can look around, you could see, and everything just looks so, so, so much better. Now, as far as getting the task out of your above your pet's um, head, well, it doesn't look bad. If you look at it, it only shows up for your pet and nobody else's pet. Now, if you do want to get rid of the fact of it happening like this, where it zooms in, well, you could also do that simply by going over to settings again, clicking on main. When you click over on gameplay, over here where it says advanced pet menu it says pick up feed or ride your pet without zooming you just go ahead and highlight that you click on the x and now when i click on my pet it brings me back to the old way of doing it so just like that i went ahead and i cleared up the entire map and all i see is the pet task above my pet and a cluttered free experience is here for me now with that guys, the reason why that's pretty important is if you want to go ahead and go ahead and tour someone's house, like I am about to do, I am about to tour this racetrack house right over here. I don't want to be able to see things. I, I want everything to be nice and clear where it's not cluttered and I'm seeing names all over the place, especially if there's people that end up coming into the house as well. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this home a quick tour. And this is the home of Cookie Monster. Um, Cookie Monster went ahead and built this really fun Christmas build, guys. It looks so freaking cool. Um, I am a big sucker for anything Christmas. 
but this house is super cool like this is my spot right over here guys like this this is my spot this is my spot it's got some of the old christmas trees you guys i think these are like the 2018 christmas trees if i'm not mistaken um i believe they're the 2018 christmas trees um but look how nice this is bro he went ahead and did an incredible job at building this cute little christmas village here um i definitely love the way this came out man uh, and then he went ahead and built inside the Christmas village a cute, cozy Christmas cottage, bro. And it also has a cute rocking chair in the front. Nice Christmas presents. Bro, so many cute little details in it. And the cottage itself is super nice, man. It's got a nice kitchen. It's got nice little tables. I mean, it's overall just an incredible little house. Bro, it even has cute little treats here. So if you or your pet are hungry, you could go ahead and pick up some yummy, delicious treats to snack on and eat. If you need to go ahead and use the washroom, the washroom is right in here. I can't wait and I hope that one day Adopt Me allows us to have our pet do the bathroom need inside of our own bathrooms. Bro, it's got this cute little bedroom here. Um, again, it's super cozy, uh, super nice little house. And then the closet is right in here. Uh, so he's got the nice little closet in here. Uh, so again, bro, just a super cute little build, man. Uh, he did such a great job with this. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his Christmas shop. In the Christmas shop, super cool. Uh, inside the Christmas shop, you can have your mannequin set up. Uh, and it's kind of like a Christmas decor shop. So you could go ahead and put your mannequins all up in here. Sell your latest Christmas apparel and fashion. And while people are trying it on, you could just go ahead and have a seat and wait till the shop attendant comes to service our needs, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and be the shop attendant. I'm going to go ahead and sit right over here. And uh, uh, do you want to buy anything? Do you want to buy anything? Do you want to buy anything? She's like, hey, do you want to buy anything? Uh, there's nothing for sale. Oh, the store must be closed because there's nothing for sale right now. Um, and then back over here, guys, as you continue further down, uh, there is a nice ice skating rink here. It's currently black ice, so we got to be careful. Uh, but as you can tell, man, just such a cool job building this house. And of course, what is a Chris? Oh, wait, wait, you could do task in here. Yo, this is for tasks right over here. That is so cool. And of course, what is a Christmas house without Santa sleigh? So let's go ahead and take out Santa sleigh. Uh, and here we go, guys. We got Santa sleigh. And we are going to go ahead and tour the rest of this winter wonderland in the style of Santa's sleigh. And oh my god, is Santa on the sleigh? Bro, I see Santa's hat on the sleigh. Bro, it is literally Santa's hat on the sleigh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. What, what we got here? <gasps> Bro, there's like a miniature forest and pumpkin. <gasps> tell anyone there's a secret behind <laughs> and guys if you want this build to be yours cookie monster is trading it i believe uh so if you ever see cookie monster inside the game you can feel free to go ahead and send them a trade request for this build again you have for all your pets needs around here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna exit this build so you could go ahead and see his name so just in case you do want to offer for this awesome build uh, it is right over here and you'll see who went ahead and built that guys um, So again super cool build guys. It is a racetrack home. So guess what you could also expand to the home Which is freaking amazing guys. Uh, so here it is. This is the home you could go ahead and Expand the home, but he did such a good job already. It's so cool in there You could ride your vehicles in there do a bunch of other stuff in there guys So to recap uh, what you do is you go to settings you go to graphics and you put them on the settings I have. You take away the character icons. You take away the player names. You go ahead and make the friendship bar invisible. And then you go ahead and set the other need however you want it. But again, it definitely does help guys because it clears up everything in the map. So this is what it looks like when it's all cleared up. Uh, it looks amazing. You could hardly see uh I, I mean you could see everything you could see the chats you could see everything as compared to if you leave it with everything on where it just becomes a hot mess guys like literally a hot mess so this is what it looks like when everything is on 
Um, so yes, it becomes super annoying when everything's on because then when people go to chat and there's a bunch of people and it's a trading server, you cannot see what anyone is saying. Like literally, um, so if I come here, I can't see what she's saying. I have to do that. But, but if I'm looking straight on, I can't see. So here we go. I'm going to stand over here and I'm going to stand over here, bro. I can hardly see what she's saying. I have to do that. I can hardly see because the names, the pet names, everything is showing, bro. And it just becomes so, so annoying. So once again, to eliminate, you go to settings, you go to graphic, and you just turn everything to no one and off. And, wa oh, 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 and voila, guys. Just like that, everything is clear. And whenever anyone chats, I could see their chat completely, guys. So... Hopefully that helps you guys. That is the way to play this like a pro with the new update with the things right above your pet's head. So that way it clears it up and just makes it for a much better, much more pleasant experience for you and all the rest of the players. So my advice is if you want to play like that, go ahead and do it, guys. If you're worried about not seeing people's names uh, because you're trying to play with your friend, once again, you just type the person and you just click profile. There it is. That's all you got to do, guys. Uh, you just click on there and you just click profile and now we know who it is uh, Besides if you're playing with your friends, you should know who your friends are and if people try to dress like your friends once again You just click click profile great thing that adopt me did with the profile But there it is again I could see it says it's enough and I can see everything and it just looks so much better guys Hopefully this was helpful guys Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and the home tour. And we will see you next time. Another episode of Alex Real NFT Gaming. Bye, y'all.